This is the basic floor plan of a three bedroom, two bath, zero energy design home with a two and a half car garage. The garage is optional. It can be any size you want to meet your needs. The garage can be on any side of the house that you want as long as it does not shade the sunroom. It is easy to flip the floor plan if you like and the design can be expanded to four bedrooms or to accommodate whatever size you like. The front of the house has a double door airlock entry next to the garage doors. In the northern hemisphere, the front of this house would face north. In the southern hemisphere, the front of this house would face south. But in either hemisphere, the left side of this drawing would face the equator. You enter the house through two doors. The outer door swings out and you close it before you open the inner door that swings in. As you enter the house, the formal living room is to your left and the family area, den, is just beyond that. To your right is the open kitchen and dining area. The interior intentionally has an open design to maximize daylight and to eliminate the need for halls. In any of these living areas, you have a sweeping panoramic view through the sunroom greenhouse in the direction of the equator. In this design, we've allocated space for a swim spa area. It can be a simple $1,000 hot tub. It could be a much nicer swim spa. Or by expanding the sunroom, it could be a full-length year-round swimming pool. The master bedroom suite with walk-in closet and master bathroom are located next to the swim spa area with lots of glass for natural daylight and excellent view. Bedroom 2 and 3 are on the opposite side of the house. Bedroom 2 has a nice view through the sunroom and it shares a bathroom with bedroom 3. Bedroom 3 has an outside window on the front of the house and a basic view to the sunroom. The floor plan is easily expanded to accommodate larger rooms or an additional bedroom. The utility laundry room is located between the kitchen and the garage, and there is a storage area between the garage and the master bedroom suite. In this diagram, the blue rooms are the interior comfort zone that's maintained at a stable temperature year-round. The green areas are our unique zero energy design thermal buffer zone, the TBZ. That includes the sunroom, the utility room, the storage space, the double door airlock entry, and a double wall system between the windows on the front of the building. The TBZ thermal buffer zone is designed specifically to maintain an intermediate temperature between the interior comfort zone and the extremes of summer and winter temperatures outside. This greatly reduces the heating and cooling requirements for the interior comfort zone. Notice also that the master bedroom walk-in closet and the closets in bedroom 2 and 3 are on the outside walls to provide additional thermal insulation. Notice the location of the red dashed line. We are now going to show you an interior cross-section of the house where the red line is located to help you better understand the TBZ thermal buffer zone. Here we are showing three decades of refinements of zero energy design, particularly focused on the thermal buffer zone TBZ. Relating this to the previous floor plan, you notice the sunroom on the left, the dining area, the kitchen, and the double door airlock entry. Beneath the floor is a crawl space for airflow. Instead of a complete crawl space, this can be done with large diameter airflow tubes on the east and west side of the house. We also have airflow between the girders that run north-south supporting the roof of the house. Many people have told us that they do not like the look of solar panels, and we agree. In this design, we have a flat roof with a mansard cap facade that hides the solar panels. There are different types of solar panels that you'd want to put on your house for domestic hot water, electricity production, and heating water for an indoor swimming pool. You might also want to hide satellite dishes for communications. 
the only people that could then see your solar panels would be in an airplane. Since photovoltaic electricity production solar panels are still expensive, we recommend that you use a solar tracking device to double the capacity of your panels and require fewer panels. It's a very cost-effective solution. Solar trackers look strange if people can see them. In this design, they are completely hidden by the roof facade. Returning to our cross-section, notice how the low winter sunshine penetrates deep into the house. In a northern hemisphere home, it goes all the way to the north wall. Notice how the solarium glass is higher than the interior glass to make this work more effectively. Solar gain is a good thing in the winter, but a bad thing in the summer. So, we've designed this house so that high summer sun is blocked by latitude-specific overhangs. The summer sun at 12 noon is 47 degrees higher than the peak winter sun. The summer sun rises in the northeast in the northern hemisphere in the areas where most people live, peaks out almost straight overhead at noon, and then sets in the northwest. So it's really not on the south side of the house very long at all, and when it is, it's very high. In the spring and fall, there are significant variations from day to day, and we provide precise solar gain control with movable shading. If you like, these shades can be operated with motors and tied to sensors that sense temperature inside the house, sunshine, and even occupancy. On cold, sunny days, the low winter sun angle heats your solarium. Warm air in the sunroom rises just like a hot air balloon. At the same time, cold winter wind cools the opposite side outer wall, making the air next to that become more dense and fall. Pressure differentials caused by warm air rising on the equator side and cool air falling on the opposite side cause the air to move horizontally through the attic space and the crawl space. This creates a circular natural convection airflow loop that continuously takes excess heat from the solarium and transfers it to the cold north side of the house. Novice solar designers do not understand this simple, inexpensive principle that requires no electricity, no fan, no thermostats. It's totally self-regulating. Simplistic passive solar design creates a house that's too hot on the south side and too cold on the north side. Fusible link safety dampers are designed in to stop the airflow in the unlikely event of a fire. On hot summer days, our thermal buffer zone works very differently. Warm air is exhausted through vents with sensor-based motorized damper control. Cool, filtered, fresh air is then brought in at the base to replace the air that's being exhausted. In hot, humid climates and in arid areas that need humidity control, energy recovery ventilation systems can be designed in to control both temperature and humidity in the thermal buffer zone. Our goal is to create a thermal buffer zone that's between the outside temperature extremes and the interior comfort zone. Using cool roof, radiant barrier, and fresh air ventilation through the thermal buffer zone, our attic space never gets as hot as the outside peak air temperature, unlike poorly designed conventional attics. The powerful scientific principle that we rely on is overlooked by most designers. Two small temperature differentials through the thermal buffer zone produce much lower heat flow than one large temperature differential across a conventional single wall and especially windows and doors. Abundant energy in harmony with nature. Thermal buffer zone natural convection solution. For additional details see our websites at zeroenergydesign.com and passivesolarenergy.info we also have many videos on YouTube under the Zero Energy Design channel.